वेलकम टू इजी लर्निंग एक्सरसाइज नंबर एट आफ्टर द कोल्डनेस ऑफ द विंटर मंथ्स द लवली डेज ऑफ अप्रैल मई एंड जून कॉल टू अस एंड आस्क अस टू गो आउट एंड सी द ब्यूटीफुल कंट्री साइड ड्यूरिंग द लॉन्ग विंटर द कंट्री साइड हैज बीन रेस्टिंग एंड वेटिंग फॉर द वार्म ऑफ समर टू मेक इट कलरफुल वंस मॉ सम पीपल फील दैट द कंट्री साइड इज मोर ब्यूटिफुल इन द कोल्ड डेज ऑफ विंटर दैन इट इज in the heat of summer when the leaves have fallen the view is wider details show up more clearly and the rivers are full these are plain facts of course but the truth is that most of us like the countryside of the summer more than that of the winter we like the warmth more than the cold and we like to see the fields full of the color that summer brings and so we go out we leave behind our tv and our books and off we go we are light of heart and happy and the open country is before us is it possible in these days however to get right into the heart of the country not only to see it but to hear it and to understand it in the way that the writer of the story of my heart life of the fields and the open air did it does not seem very likely that it is possible because there are so many people in so many motor cars all trying to find the happiness of the countryside at the same time it is plain enough that if masses of people all go to the same place at the same time to find the peaceful life of the country they will not find it the ease with which it is now possible to reach the country places has made them less worth reaching there is i think nothing that we can do about it motor cars are with us and are likely to be and while we have them we shall without doubt use them there are however still places which are away from the wide roads and great motorways there are lovely little places in the byways of the countryside which because of the quality of the roads are seen by few the best way to see such a place is to walk feet are certainly not used as much as they used to be we like to move more quickly than our feet will take us our feet are still however quite the best means of seeing the countryside in the lovely months of the early summer when i was a child my father had a number of little books which set out walks of many kinds there were short walks and long walks walks for the hour or for the day these walks set out almost every step of the way and they kept 
the walker away from the roads as far as possible. The landmarks were country buildings and farms and fields. A motor car cannot go across farmland, stopping while those in it watch the animals or look at the growing plants. But the walker can, provided he keeps to certain paths and is careful. It is still possible to walk in the countryside for a whole day without going on to a wide motoring road. The motor car is a remarkably good way to get from one part of the country to another, but it is not the best way to see the details of the countryside. For the details, we must walk. The motor car offers us the general view, and walking offers us the little things. In the motor car, too, we cannot hear the sounds of the countryside, but the walker hears and knows them all. Of course, not everyone likes the peace of the countryside. I knew a young woman who had lived all her young life right in the heart of the country's capital. She had never been away and knew nothing whatever about either the seaside or the countryside. After a year or two in an office, however, she found that she had some money in hand and she heard the other office workers talking about where they were going for their leave in the summer. This caused her to make up her mind to go away somewhere and she went with a friend to a little seaside place well known for its peacefulness and the beautiful countryside round about it. She had booked a room for two weeks but after half a week she was back in town. I thought you were away at the seaside, I said when I met her in the street. Oh, I could not stand it for another day, she said. There was just nothing to do. Full stop.